company B does you know their own way and company C um, does their own thing too. It makes it super hard again for devs to just like you know deal with company A, but then they want to deal with company B because they also need servers in, in that region or they need that type of server and they might need also company C. So it becomes a kind of a mess for game builders to be like, wow, I'm not a, uh, you know, again, I, I don't want to go through being an infrastructure company. I need to spend my time on improving the game. So Beamable is like, let us build a layer that is the middle layer between these metal servers and the game builder. So this is game builder one. This is game builder two. This is game builder three. Um, and this layer is called the Beamable Network. And this layer what it will do is that it will ask each one of these servers to accept workloads in a specific format. We'll call this format X for sake of simplicity. It's much more complicated than that, but for sake of simplicity, we'll call this format X. So it's, go it's, it's going to ask that game servers uh, agree to receive workloads in the X format. So that way, these workloads will work either with company A, so this one, or company B, or company C, or company D. So any server that now goes on the Beamable network protocol accepts workload in format X. And again, from the dev side, what it, it's gonna ask is that if you wanna push workloads to the Beamable network, we will only take workloads in format X. So what it did in a very simple way, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but just for sake of simplicity, it standardized the whole um, network in a simple um, standard that game servers who are running servers and game builders agree to use. And that way, it makes it simple for any game builder to just push workloads to the Beamable network. And then the Beamable network will act like an AWS, essentially. So you'll get the best of both worlds, essentially. So it's going to cost you a fraction of the cost. You'll save about 70% of run, from running on AWS and it's going to give you the freedom to continue focusing on your game from the game from the builder side so it has what we call the best of both worlds so it's going to use metal servers that are right now practically unused and act like an AWS and offer the game builders a cheap solution 